Welcome back. Five years ago, I had the incredible opportunity to see the James Webb telescope being built at NASA Goddard in Maryland. Now the Webb is settled into orbit and fully functional, and its first observations were released yesterday. Now here to talk about these amazing full colored images is Dr. Heidi Hamill, interdisciplinary scientist for the Webb for the James Webb Space Telescope, who joins us now live from Stockholm, Sweden. Thank you for uh, joining us this morning. It's a pleasure to be here and talking with you. So first of all, how truly incredible are these five images that we're seeing? Well, let me just share with you that I'm at a conference right now um, to talk about the Hubble and the James Webb Space Telescope science. And so we got to see some of those images for the first time, along with all the rest of the world. And some, when some of these images and some of the data showed up on the screen, there was spontaneous applause, there was cheers, there was gasping and clapping and yelling. It's a big deal. <laughs> These are great, great data. It is. I was uh, watching this with uh, my colleague uh, here, Anavid Reyes, uh, who does traffic, and we uh, were watching uh, all these images as they were coming through, and we just could not believe what we were seeing. Now, the, the Webb is an infrared telescope. Uh, what is that, and how is it different from the Hubble Space Telescope? Yeah, so Hubble Space Telescope is an optical telescope and also a UV telescope. Astronomers want to use every wavelength of light that's available. And so, um, the, the, but the web is an infrared telescope. So longer wavelengths of light, red and redder than red and even redder than red. And we need all these different colors of light to help us understand the universe. Different phenomena show up at different colors of light. And so uh, the web is going to open a whole new window into the universe for us, the infrared window. And uh, Dr. Hamill, we're going to have to take a quick little pause right now. I have to do the weather, but I'm going to come back to you in about uh, one minute and we'll finish our. OK, I, uh, I am back now with Dr. Uh, Heidi Hamill and so uh, our interdisciplinary scientist from the James Webb Space Telescope. OK, so let's resume this. So just how far away from Earth is the James Webb Telescope right now? So the James Webb Space Telescope is about a million miles away from Earth. It's at a place in space we call the L2 point, Lagrange 2. If you imagine going from the sun to the Earth and then keep going in a straight line for a million miles, four times further than the moon, that's where James Webb Space Telescope is. It's, it's just so incredible. Now, Hubble established direct evidence of black holes. What can the web possibly give us evidence of? The web telescope was specifically designed to look for the very first galaxies that ever formed in our cosmos. And uh, based on those images that we saw uh, yesterday, uh, we're going to be able to do that. Those images are not yet the deepest fields that Webb will find, um, but they show us that once we start doing our deep exposures, we will be able to see those first galaxies. And if we are very, very lucky, we may be able to see the very some of the first stars that ever formed in those first galaxies. That's pretty amazing to me. I, I mean, I, I completely agree with you. I'm really excited to see all of this. So we have these five images right now, and you're mentioning some of the other things uh, that the James Webb is going to do. But what's exactly next? What are we building on from here on out? And when is the next image we're going to see? Well, I can't tell you exactly when the next image is, but we're already starting to take science data on other kinds of phenomena in our solar system, in our solar system, and in our galaxy, and in the galactic neighborhood. So you can expect sometime in the coming months to see new pictures of uh, star formation regions where stars are being born in our galaxy. You might start start to see um, uh, images of things in locally, like. Maybe the great red spot of Jupiter. Um, my team is planning to look at that. Um, we may see comets. Uh, we may see uh, exploding stars, stars that are you know in the, the end stages of their life and ejecting huge shells of material, like, like the ring nebula that was the southern ring, one of the images that was shown. And it's, it's such a powerful telescope that astronomers from all around the world in all the different fields of astronomy all have plans for what they want to do with, with the JWST.
And so for you personally, what are you most looking forward to? Is it Jupiter or is it something else? <laughs> Oh, you mean which of my children do I love the best? No, that- <laughs> I guess so. Yes, I'm making you pick who you love the best. Uh, so let me answer that two ways. Like I'm a solar system astronomer. I joined this program more than 20 years ago, just to give people an idea of how long it takes to build a super advanced space telescope. I've been working on the project for over 20 years with the idea that I wanted to use it to look at the planets Uranus and Neptune with the best possible telescope that humanity has ever built. And so I'm looking forward to that. And that um, the the first images there will come later this year um, and for Uranus and then Neptune will be uh, next year. So I still have to wait. Uh, They have to be in the right part of the sky for the telescope to look. So for me personally, yeah, that, that, that's kind of what I'm all excited about, but I will say as an astronomer, as an astrophysicist, as someone who has studied the cosmos for my entire career, the idea that this telescope will see to the very edge of the universe and see the first galaxies that ever formed, that's a mind boggling thing. And I, I, I'm excited for, for that science as well. Ah, that's so great. Where can viewers go to learn more about uh, this incredible space telescope? You know, your best bet is always to track at nasa.gov. They will have links to the latest and greatest news, and you can navigate from there to other places to to find more interesting data. Thank you, Dr. Heidi Hamill, interdisciplinary scientist for the James Webb Space Telescope. We really appreciate your time and, of course, excitement. Thank you. I am excited. It's going to be a great run with JWST.